Hello every pony art Lisiane here, link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine, please go and give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. And also it's going to contain my personal opinion about uh, the learning curve of my little pony, so if you don't like stuff like that, click away or else stay. Yeah, here we go, 3, 2, 1. So I have been noticing that people are saying that the main six doesn't have any more, you know, things to learn and are, you know, Twilight is now learning her stuff to, uh, yeah, Starlight Glimmer and there's not nothing more to do with the characters and stuff like that. But I don't think that is totally true. Uh, I will start with Applejack uh, because she's my favorite pony. So I'll just start with her. Um, I do still believe that we need some more clarification about, you know, the background story about her mom and dad. Uh, maybe her losing uh, Winona or Granny Smith or something in the lines of that can awaken the memories of her parents and we can finally, you know, let go of this because it have been uh, so long into the fandom and stuff like that. So we need some clarification in this sense. And they can still make it, you know, family friendly, uh, child friendly. It doesn't have to be grim or dark or anything like that. Uh, I just feel like uh, that could be a great episode with, uh, you know, the... Applejack learning to uh, let go completely because uh, we see in thanks of the for your memories with uh, Rainbow Dash that she's actually not sad but you know Tank is coming back so yeah I do believe that she has some I will not say secrets but uh, at least that she will you know learn to let go at one point or another and so do we, we need to learn that. And also uh, other possibility is the factor that now, you know, um, Everbloom is going to take over, you know, Granny Smith's role or how to say that. And I talked about that in other videos too. So I still believe that there is something uh, into that. And uh, now for, you know, Fluttershy, I'm not taking in, in uh, it's just random from now on. Uh, I do believe that she could actually learn to be more, I will not say grown up, but I definitely feel like we're going to get something out of this episode where she's uh, meeting with her brother or what it is. I really do hope that it's going to be a Fluttershy Applejack uh, episode, as I said. Um, maybe it could also be a episode about letting go about your family and stuff like that. If, you know, Applejack and her brother falls in love and, you know, Fluttershy have to uh, let go. It can be like when Twilight uh, finds out that her brother is going to ma uh, marry Cadence, but in this case, you know, it's all going to be fine and stuff like that. But uh, I do believe that Fluttershy will be, I will not say taking it to Grim, but uh, I will actually say that I do believe that she will try to stop it, even though that uh, there is nothing wrong with it, so she can learn uh, about that. And also something in terms of uh, your memories with Rainbow Dash, she is the only one that uh, has the courage to tell, uh, you know, Rainbow Dash how it is that she needs to let go and stuff like that. Maybe we can see a um, background story where she loses one of her pets or what she have lost uh, to get to that state of mind. Maybe she also misses her parents or you know are not getting her parents back or something yeah i know that it's very sad episodes i'm talking about but i still feel like there's something necessary to uh, do this and um 
Next one, I would like to talk about Rarity uh, because now she has uh, her boutiques and she has everything that she dreamed about. I actually, it's not to be evil, but I actually believe that she's going to lose one of her boutiques, uh, either the one in Manhattan or the one in the other place. I just forgot. But I actually believe that she's going to lose that. Uh, maybe she's also going to lose a friend I will not say which one I believe it is that she's going to lose but I actually believe that there's going to be some tension between her and Applejack with the Fluttershy brother pl uh, problem or plot or something <laughs> like that but I actually believe that she would um, try to redeem herself and try to uh, also maybe yeah, I will not say grow up more, but I actually still feel like she's in the state of mind where everything uh, needs to be perfect and uh, not everything, uh, not nothing can go wrong and stuff like that. But if the boutique in, uh, for example, Manhattan goes wrong, I do believe that she's going to be uh, very sad and stuff like that. Uh, something uh, episode I would also like to see is her giving up Spike. We re really need to get it, you know, over with. We n I know that we had a episode where he turns to the dragon and stuff like that, where it actually, you know, ended or how to say that. But I still feel like Spike needs to uh, lay off. Uh, it haven't been that prominent in the new uh, season so I hope that it's over and there is nothing more with her and Spike because I didn't I didn't like that at all actually <laughs> so yeah but that's not just my personally opinion um, for the next one Rainbow Dash I actually believe that she could learn to teach uh, you know Scootaloo or she could get some teaching from Scootaloo. Uh, I actually believe that Scootaloo will become the protector of speed or flight or something like that. So I do believe that actually Rainbow Dash is coming to her for help and that could actually be a very interesting way to teach Rainbow Dash uh, how to go to some pony that is uh, younger and maybe don't have that much experience but still uh, getting you know the ideas or the yeah how to say that the knowledge to get better or uh, yeah I don't know how that that could work but I actually feel like uh, that is going to happen and uh, now for Pinkie Pie, uh, I definitely feel like there could be several things that she still can learn. Uh, I definitely feel like the gift for more pie opens up a bit of weird questions. But I would actually really like to see some background story for her parents as well. Um, why she is not living with the pie family anymore and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I would also like to have a story where maybe she also uh, grown up. I actually believe that she's the most grown up of all of the main six, but she just hides it. And that could be an awesome story to the, you know, generation that we are in now, because we know that we suddenly we all grown up and stuff like that and maybe it was too fast and I would really like to have a story about that. Uh, the last thing I would say that I really want to have something about is Celestia and Luna but I already talked about that in uh, previous episodes uh, about uh, you know Elecon magic and you know Elecon birth and Elecon how to the became Alicorns and how Cadence became a Alicorn and stuff like that. Um, maybe some background story about, you know, Twilight also, so we can see uh, some more with her and Shining Armor, uh, how they became so close and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Uh, 
I really do want the Applejack ones uh, first. Uh, it's not because I want to be selfish or anything. I just really feel like there's a lot of potential for new things to learn and I don't feel like they're ever going to you know run out of ideas to stuff to learn so yeah especially now with the new episodes not saying what it is but you know what you are going to learn about so yeah um that's actually all for today do remember that inspiration is right around the corner do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones and that's actually all for today yeah okay bye